Hey everyone, it's Jaden from Neutrune Wonder Hub, and today we are going to make our very own memory game. So all we need is some paper and some coloring materials. So I'm using markers, but you can use pencil crayons or paint or crayons, whatever you have on hand. And the paper I'm using is cardstock, so it's a little bit thicker, and this just helps to make sure that the markers don't show through, because otherwise people might be able to cheat and see which designs are on which cards. I also cut my cardstock down to about three inches by two inches. Doesn't really matter as long as they're all the same size. So you wanna make sure that they all line up. And now all we have to do is decorate them. So we wanna make sure that we're decorating two identical designs. So whatever I do on this one, I'm gonna do on this one. Okay, and then I'll move on and do the next set. So we're gonna do that. I've cut out 20 pieces of paper. You can make as little or as many as you want. The more you make, the harder the game is gonna be. Okay, so let's get decorating. So now that we have our designs all finished, we're going to put all of our cards together and give it a quick shuffle or a mix up. Did mix them around or we can do a quick shuffle or a little bit of both. And just gonna do this, mix them all up. And as you can see, we can't tell which one's which from the back, which is good. Okay, and now we are going to lay them all out. Okay, so once you have them all laid out, you can have your siblings or your parents or someone play with you. And all you do is take turns flipping over a card and trying to find its pair. So I want to find the yellow squiddle with the purple polka dots. Um, see, is it that one? No. So I'm gonna try my best to remember where I flipped these ones over. So we're gonna flip them back around. Let's try this one. Okay, so I got the orange swirl with the purple pink on the outside. Oh, but this one looks familiar. So I flipped these over and it would be, and it would be someone else's turn. So you switch turns every time. So if I remember correctly, this one was here and I have found a match. So then I, Take these away and these would be points for me. Then you can keep playing until you have all of the matches.
We have the last two, and we have found all of our matches. Now you can shuffle them up and play again or make some new cards, add some more, take some away. It's totally up to you. I hope you have fun playing with your new game. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you get a chance to make your very own set of upside down memory cards. For more virtual programming, follow us here or at wonderhub.ca.